Welcome to the CIS 101 video where we'll talk about running Python programs outside of JES. And the first thing that we'll need to do is install Python on our computers. Now, if you have a Windows machine, you can download it on this page. Just make sure you download the Python version 2. 2. Um, Python version 3 is slightly different than Python version 2. And Python version 2 is what we've been using in JES, so I just kind of want to stay with that. Now, if you're feeling adventuresome, the changes really aren't all that much if you use Python version 3, but it you will have to figure out a few things on your own. Now, it probably is a good idea to learn Python version 3 because Python version 2 is at the end of its life. They're not releasing any more updates for it. And so moving forward, Python version 3 is really what you want to know. Now the changes are not that much. There's only uh, two changes that we'll learn about in this class, and I will point them out in the videos and the material so that you can jump to Python version three after this class. So if you have a Windows machine, go ahead and download and install Python version two. Make sure you pay attention to the special instructions in Canvas on making sure Python is in your path so that you can run it from the command prompt. If you have a, Win a Mac machine, you already have Python installed, and all you have to do is open up the terminal window, and you can get it to run. Now, on a Mac, to open up your terminal, what you do is you go to Applications, then Utilities, and you'll find a terminal program inside of there. Another option is to hold down Command and press Space, and you can st start typing the word Terminal. And you can see that it will come up here, and you can click on it and launch your terminal that way. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, just go down to your uh, Start menu and in the search type CMD for it short for command, and you'll find your command prompt and you'll launch it up and you'll get a window that looks somewhat like this. Now, it might look a little bit different. I've done a little bit of customization to my terminal, but uh, you'll type in the commands just the same. And just to check your Python in installation, just type the word Python and you should uh, see, first of all, that you're uh, in Python 2.7, which is, again, not recommended because it's at its end of life cycle. But just to stay consistent with JS, JES, we're going to continue on with it. And now this is the bottom part of JES. You can type any command you want, like print hello, and you'll see hello. Or you can do some calculations like you did in JES. Now to get out of it, you just type exit with parentheses, and you'll get out of it and back to what's called the command prompt. So inside of the command prompt, when we're running Python, we can only type Python code here. And then when we exit, we're back to the command prompt. And here we can't type Python code. We can only type commands that the terminal or command prompt understand. Now this is Visual Studio Code. So hopefully you've downloaded and installed that on your computer. And it's a text editor that allows us to type in our Python programs and save them on the disk. Now go ahead and create a new file. And in that, we could start typing Python code, like print hello. And when we save it, make sure you save it as a, um, and I'm just going to save it as test2.py. But the name doesn't really matter other than the extension. Make sure you use a .py so that it knows that it's a Python program. Once it knows that it's a Python program, you'll see that it will start highlighting uh, the Python, uh, the built-in uh, keywords and stuff, just like JES did for us. Now to run our Python program, we can go up here to the terminal and that'll open us a terminal or a command prompt if we're on a Windows machine. And you just click new terminal and um, that will pu put a terminal down here uh, on the bottom of our screen. Now you might get lucky and it will have the terminal in the same folder as you are. So the terminal kind of has a current working directory and that's the directory where it's gonna look for the files in our area. Now, right now I'm on the desktop. If you wanna go in, into a folder, if you remember I have the saves folder. So CD is short for change directory and you can put a name and press enter and it will move um, the current working directory into the saves folder. So if I save my files in there, then that's what the terminal, that's where the terminal will look for them. Now let's say I wanna go up a directory, I could go cd dot dot and that gets me up a folder. 
And um, if I want to go up another, another folder, I can do that again. So now I'm in my home folder on my computer. Now I recommend saving your files on the desktop and that way you can just run CD desktop if you're not already in the desktop. Now most terminal windows kind of show you their current working directory so you know where you're at. But you need to make sure you are in the same folder that you saved your files in. Now another command, if you're on a Mac, which I am, you can do ls and it will list out the files in your current folder. If you're on a Windows machine, the command is dir and that will show you all the files in that current folder. As you can see, I have two Python files on my desktop and I can run them by typing the name Python and then the name of Python program and I'll press enter and you can see it printed out hello. Now a couple of things that might have gone wrong is first of all, if you haven't installed Python correctly, then it won't be able to find the Python interpreter and run your program. So you can check that out. If you're able to type Python and press enter and get into this, then you should have Python installed correctly. If not, then you need to figure out why. Now, um, the other thing that could go wrong is you could have spelt the name of your program incorrectly, so you want to check that. And the third thing that might have gone wrong is that you're not in the right folder. So if you're in the, if your command prompt is in the desktop folder, but you saved your program in a different folder, then it won't be able to find it. Now, when we type out our program that I have up here, if you notice, I define a function that's called say hello, that prints out hello class. And then down here, if you notice, I've indented back. So this is no longer in the function. It just says something. When I run my program, all I get is something. Notice it didn't say hello class. Now Python, the way that Python will run is it will run each command in order. So the first line, then the second line, then the next line, and the next line. The only thing is, is this is in a function. So I'm defining a function. And like I've um, told you before in previous videos, Defining a function is like writing down a recipe on a recipe card. But when you finish writing down the recipe, obviously, let's say we're writing a recipe for cookies and we finish writing the cookie recipe, cookies do not just appear out of nowhere. We have to actually make the cookies. So in Python, to make the cookies, we need to call our function. So say hello. And now when I run it, we were able to see the hello class. And if you notice, it said print something, something printed first, and then it said hello class. So if you think of defining a function as writing down something on the recipe card, and then we're putting that function away in our little recipe box to be able to call later, then it makes a lot of sense how Python works. So we make a recipe for saying hello, we print something, then we find the recipe that's the say hello recipe and rerun that. So everything that's outside of the function, you could kind of consider as the main routine of your program. And so usually we'll define all of our functions at the top of our program, and then down below we'll have our main routine, and that's the main control of what you want your program to do. Now finally, I just want to show you some things that you can do with Visual Studio Code. If you go up to the View menu, you can go up to the Appearance, and um, if your terminal window ever disappears, that's the show panel. The panel is where that terminal window shows up. So if it disappears, just go up to view and uh, appearance and do the show panel again. Now, another thing that you can do is you can uh, rotate that panel. So if I want the panel on the right side of my editor over here, I can do that and it rotates it. And then you can go up to the appearance and move the panel back down to the bottom. Of course, you can move it to the left as well. Now, you don't have to run it in the terminal inside of uh, Visual Studio Code. You can open up another terminal window. Make sure you change directories into the folder where you saved your file. And then you can run it from there.